Okay, so we're gonna make a little bit of nice fresh fish for the kids today. Some people say my children won't eat fish, and maybe that's right, but they're more likely to eat it if it doesn't taste too fishy. So one good way to get that fishy taste out is to put a little bit of a marinade on top that has some nice flavors in it. So I'm using a tiny bit of mayonnaise in here, and then I'm gonna use a bit of garlic, because garlic is a good way to get rid of that kind of fishy odor that some fish can have, and then they end up actually liking it. For this, I'm gonna actually use a garlic press because the garlic comes out in smaller pieces when you put it through a press, but you can actually use a pounder or you can just chop it up into really small pieces. So I'm just gonna squeeze the garlic out of here and then I'm gonna use my spoon to scrape it into the mayonnaise. And then I've got some chives. Chives are, I think, in the onion family and they kind of add some flavor as well and kids tend to like them, especially if they're not all over and very visible. So I'm gonna mix them in with the mayonnaise. So I'm gonna use my children's scissors and they can actually do this part, they love it. They're not here right now or else I'd ask them to do it. That's about enough. Then I lined this container, this pan with some foil because it makes it easier to clean up then. You don't have to scrape the pan. You don't want to feed them fish like salmon or halibut every day of the week because some of those fish, there is a bit of a concern about mercury levels in the big fish that swim at the bottom of the ocean. But once a week or once every two weeks is fine to have a little bit of salmon. I bought these tail fillets. The tails of the fish have less bones, so a tail like this, I can't feel any bones in the fish. You just don't want to be feeding really young children fish with bones in it. There you go. See, how easy is this? Preparing fish is so easy. People think it's complicated, but it's actually one of the quickest things to make. And all you have to remember with fish, high temperature, short amount of time. Put just a little bit of salt and pepper. We don't want to put too much salt on our children's food just because we don't want them to develop a taste for too much salt, but a little bit of salt can add flavor and can actually bring out the flavors of the food. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper on top as well. And then, look how easy this is. I'm gonna mix it up and slather it on. Done, now it goes in the oven. Depending on the size of your fish, it could be 15 to 20 minutes and probably anywhere between 400 and 500 degrees is perfect for fish. So we're ready to take our fish out now. Mm, looks good. And what we're gonna do, just to make sure that it's ready, we're gonna take a knife and just kind of cut into it. And you can see that that flakes apart nice and easily. So that means that the fish is cooked, ready to serve. Thank you.